Hey guys, welcome to another studio vlog. So today is Wednesday, um, no it's not, it's Thursday. Today is Thursday. Yesterday I didn't really do anything, just kind of had a bad brain day where I just couldn't motivate myself to get anything done. <laughs> I watched all of WandaVision in one day and then I played Sardew for a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I could get myself to do which just happens sometimes. This morning was a little bit like that, but I got up, had a shower, cooked some lunch. Yeah, I feel a bit better now, except I got one of my international orders that I sent to the US in January, back in the mail today, return to sender. It seems like it needs a customs form, except I was told that, when I asked at the post office, I was told that I didn't need it. And when I did some Googling before that, when I was trying to work out if I needed it for the small envelopes, that on the Etsy forums everyone seemed to have been told something different. So I figured the best plan of action was to go and ask at the local post office if I need it. And they told me I didn't. So I've been sending sticker mail with stamps to the US without a customs form, just because it's way cheaper than the Etsy shipping labels. So my customers in the US can pay $8.30 instead of $21, even if they're only buying one sticker. Uh, but yeah, that one that came back I sent seven weeks ago. Now I'm worried that the orders that I've sent since then are also going to come back or they're going to be lost or something. I didn't get tracking for them because they're sent with stamps. So I think I might have to raise my shipping prices for stamps for international orders which is really annoying. I didn't want to have to do that but I just don't really know what the best course of action is. It's hard to get a clear answer about shipping anywhere really. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna send that customer a message and work it out with her. Probably just gonna send it back my own cost with tracking this time. I might need to go to the post office and ask what the deal is why this one got sent back because it's really confusing. <laughs> There's no clear guide, especially for Australian businesses. I feel like there's a lot more information for people in America. There's a lot of resources, but in Australia it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> really? Anyway, that's been my morning. One of the more difficult parts of having a business. Hello. <laughs> so I'll talk to you a bit later.
He's just a block of ice now. The new coat is known as well because my sticker stains and they're frog stickers. So I ordered those in like the like 300, 500 number because I took them out to show you. Bigger and I made a second one that says, You're mine. One frog is more forgiving than one is less. So, you're mine. All the way. The whole morning I've been working on, but you'll, you'll see it eventually. You'll see it one day. This is really exciting. I'm I want to learn how to play, but also I always feel bad for like wanting to play with people because. So, so I've got two things to open right now. Uh, the first one is this order from Jess was here. I got a couple of things from her. <laughs> Look at him. On the fifty. Oh, that's so cute. Just the thank you card. This is a really nice quality print. So the first thing I got is these ooh, tiger stickers. I just think they're really cute. I love tigers, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look, that's adorable. And I got this bookmark. Very cute, little raccoons all over it. Let me show you what I've been using as a bookmark for like the past year. It's just like a, a little note card. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in now. It looks much nicer. Kind of matches the book a little bit too, which is kind of nice. Little coincidence. Yeah, it's really nice and thick and good quality. So that'll be a much nicer bookmark. And then I got this keychain. It's so cute. I have two cats, so it's kind of reminding me of them. Very, very cute. Thank you, Jess. I love everything. I got this, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a ring light on a tripod. It should make it a bit easier to film TikToks and Reels and um, hopefully help me take photos for my store as well. But it was only $12, which I didn't realise because it, it must have been put in the wrong spot. So I'm not sure how the quality is. I just got it from Kmart. So it has three lighting modes, 10 levels of adjustable brightness. That's pretty good. I was looking at a different one, which was $35. And I was gonna grab that one, but then I realized it, it looked like it didn't have like, you couldn't tilt the light. So it was only like, it was stuck upright, which is not at all useful for what I wanna use it for. Yeah, so I grabbed this one. So I'm hoping it's good. But if not, if it was $12. What are you doing? <laughs> hmm. 
definitely misread the measurement for the height. I thought it was a bit taller, but that's my bad. It explains why it was $12, but I think I can make it work. Let's put the rest of it together. I wonder if I can put this on my other tripod, because it has a little screw on the bottom, which will be nice and versatile. So this phone thing goes on the top. So, so I should be able to oh yeah so I can put my phone here and film stuff or I can use my gooseneck tripod instead I don't know what this self screw is for <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> little so That's a bit odd. I think that's. Ah, yeah, okay. I'm just a bit dumb. straight downwards although I wonder if I can twist this so the legs are not in the way hmm. and it doesn't want to balance um I think this is gonna take some more experimentation but I do think it will work for what I want it for which is good <laughs> so yeah so I can put it on my big tripod that I use for my camera. That's pretty good, which means I can probably use this little tripod for my camera, which is also very good. Hey, so I just put my camera on the little tripod and it works perfectly. So I can switch them depending on where I want to put my camera. So this little tripod will be more versatile for like if I want to film on my desk or do little different angles from on top of a table would be very useful. And then, yeah, put that guy on there. Pretty cool. Please ignore my washing. <laughs>
This is for a phone. I like this option because it had a thank you card that I'm using because I ran out of my old thank you card. It's starting to get dark, but I just went and filmed some little videos for all of my stickers to put on my Etsy store. Um, just as another example of what the product looks like, I guess. And I'll show you what they look like. How cool is that? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself. <laughs> okay, so I just quickly wanted to update you guys on what's happened with the orders that got returned. I had one, like, I think it was the start of this week or maybe end of last week, anyway. So I had one returned and I messaged the customer and pretty much just said I'll send it back at my own cost just to let you know what's happened. Yeah, pretty much that. And then I got another one, a second order returned this week. Both of them were to the US, and the second one actually came with a letter that explained that um, the customs requirements changed because of the way the mail is scanned. So anything that's um, not a document in a letter-sized mailer has to be has to have a customs form on it, which means I do need to look into maybe a different way of getting the customs form because at the moment what I've been doing is using the Etsy shipping labels basically has the customs form, the shipping label and tracking all in one but to get that I have to pay $21. Yeah so I've sent back the two orders that I already got using that method but I'm gonna see if there's another way that I can get the customs form and then still maybe send with stamps so that it's cheaper again um, but I'm not sure if that's viable so I need to do a lot more research. Yeah, it's just annoying that there's not really a clear guidelines anywhere. So, yeah. Yeah, for the moment I've put up my shipping prices. I sent a message to other US customers who I think might be affected by this, even though I haven't got their orders returned yet, just to see if they want me to send it again straight away, if they want me to wait until I get it back just so I know for sure that it's coming back to me. So yeah, I'll talk to you on Monday. So it's a few days later, I just wanted to jump in and say if you're also waiting on an order from me um, that you think might be lost and you're watching this, um, please send me a message on Etsy and I'll sort it out.
Hey guys, so today is Friday the 12th of March. I haven't really worked much this week because I have been on my period and I've just been having headaches and nausea and cramps all week and just been feeling generally gross so yeah I wish I could have gotten more done but I just haven't so it's just like that sometimes unfortunately. I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about. I've noticed on my YouTube analytics that the like the non-studio vlogs, the art videos, aren't doing as well as the studio vlogs and I started to feel like I'm sort of rushing my content. I feel like I'm not putting out art videos that are as high quality as I would like them to be. So I've decided that I'm going to keep doing the studio vlogs but I'm gonna stop doing the other videos for now and maybe I'll put up a, just a speed paint with music every now and then um, since I can pretty easily record them on Clip Studio Paint now so you guys can just see the process of my art piece but I probably won't do voiceovers for those videos and they'll be sporadic as well so I won't be keeping to a schedule with those. I will still upload the studio vlogs every second week like I've been doing. Yeah I basically just I want more time to be able to draw and make new products for you guys and just be I don't know creatively fulfilled <laughs> would be nice. I'm also having to look for part-time work or casual work just to support myself. I'm on unemployment at the moment. I just need an additional income um, so that I can continue to support myself so that I continue to make art. Yeah, so that's what's been happening in my brain, I guess, for the past week or so since I last filmed. So there'll be less content, but I hope it will be more enjoyable for you guys and I'll have more time to make more art. Yeah, I will still be posting on Instagram and um, I'm posting quite a bit on TikTok as well. I've saved so many sounds to be like, yeah, I can do this and I can do that. I'm still really enjoying TikTok. Um, actually, I think I'm almost at 250 followers on there already, which is crazy because <laughs> I think it took me years to get that many on Instagram. So yeah, that's been a good motivator, but I just want to spend less time editing and more time making art and that's like the fifth time I've said that so <laughs> I think you get the point. I think I am actually going to end this vlog here. I have no idea how long it is and I'm sorry that it's a little bit late coming out. So yeah, I will see you guys in two weeks with the next video vlog. Bye!